Hi Mr. K, how if the first step we look at uh, the one hour chart for confirmation MA220 cross, then look for daily time frame for the direction and the last doing execution on 50 minute chart. Because if I look at the daily time frame first, I think it's too late. Okay, so he wanted to look at one hour chart first to confirm the market direction and then move on to the daily chart and 15 chart. I take a look at the chart from the bigger time frames because you have to capture biggest momentum in the market. And usually the market follows the bigger time frame chart. So when bigger time frame, let's say in this case daily chart is moving up, then one hour chart and 50 minute chart will be following that bigger time frame daily chart direction basically. And that's why it's very important to see the bigger time frame first. Uh, let's see, this is a gold chart and this is a daily chart of gold right now. You look at the direction of the Kumo and you look at the direction of the 200 moving average 20 moving average whatever when you see it's the uptrend right when you see that daily chart is moving up that means the market is uptrend in this bigger time frame and then you go down to one hour chart and what you have to confirm is the market right uh, the down uh, lower time frame market also is moving upwards because if the lower time frame market is not really moving up while daily chart is moving up that means the market is retracing backwards right in one hour chart this one the downtrend and after that it looks like it's been going up but if you look at the today's candlestick right here this is the bearish candlestick the most recent one when you look at the one hour chart today uh, maybe it's gonna be it's it's going down but daily chart is moving up most likely the market is gonna go up continuously and with that in mind you look at the lower time frames like one hour chart then you find and yeah when you find it downwards then that means the market is retracing backwards and that can be a confirmation and that's why you better go from the bigger time frame first so usually I take a weekly or daily chart as a bigger time frame. Yeah, there's a formula that I usually look at the market here. I take big time frames as a major trend and sometimes I look at the monthly chart, but usually I look at the daily chart and weekly chart and capture the market momentum in a bigger scope, right? And then I go down to four hour, one hour or a 30 minute time frame to confirm whether the market is following the major trend direction or not. And if it does, then I go even down to 15 or 5 minute chart and try to catch where exactly the buy or sell point on the market. So when the daily chart is going up and yeah, so when the chart when the daily chart is going up and when you see the retracement like this, of course one hour chart will be going down, right? In this case, this is just a retracement while the market is going up in daily chart. Basically, you cannot buy in this market but you have to wait for the pushback, the next pushback, and you have to be able to capture the pushback to be able to buy by following this daily uptrend. So by capturing, to capture that pushback, um, you have to look at lower time frames. And yeah, so that's the idea for multiple time frame analysis. Of course, sometimes you look at this one daily chart as a bullish market. And of course, sometimes the market can break it downwards. The market can turn to bearish market. And in that case, you cannot be positive to buy, right? Because when you come back to the daily chart at that time, you know, maybe the Kumo might be flat or Kumo might be twisted to the downside. So you can confirm, also confirm in daily chart that the market is in the range or retracing backwards and losing this bull market energy here. By looking at the Kumo itself, you can be sure if the market is going up or not or down or not. And when you look at the lower time frames and when you see the market is keep going down, then sooner or later in daily chart too, the Kumo should be twisted to downside and you can confirm in daily chart that the market is losing its bullish momentum. So that's why basically starting from the bigger time frame is very important to analyze the market.